I am a full-time online reseller. On my car insurance, I'm a second-hand dealer, which means I basically go to places like fruit sales, charity shops, auctions, wherever I can get it from. I buy it cheap and I sell it online for profit. That's how I pay my gas bill, or try to. Got 10 orders going out today. I'm in my workshop slash tat tent, where I keep all the stock that I buy that is then listed online on eBay, Depop, Vinted. I oh, know, not Vinted anymore. No, no. Etsy, Facebook as well, trying that out. I've got to pick out the orders, I've got to find it, and then obviously package it off to the new homes. And in these videos, I've got the GoPro, I'm going to strap it to my chest mount, and I'm going to walk you through. And hopefully you can take a bit of knowledge from this video, go out there in the wild yourself, try and find this sort of stuff, flip it online for a profit. So let's get this on now. There we go. Let's get picking. 10 orders all through eBay this weekend, and we're going to start with a pair of trainers. Like SB trainers. Here they are. I don't know if they appeared on a recent picking orders video, but these actually sold on Depop a little while ago. And they got returned because they weren't happy with the condition. Even though they're in really nice condition, no marks or scuffs, everything looks good around the back. I don't know if they just don't fit and they're after just a free returns label, but yeah, they've sold again. Anyway, they hit owe me £5 from a boot sale. They were originally listed in September, but since September they've sold twice. Hopefully they stay sold this time on eBay. 35 99 plus postage. We like finding these Stan Janowski skateboarding type trainer. They will sell well and they sell strong as well. They stay sold this time. So trainers, one of the easiest things to send out. What I use is a clear bag, as you see as I pick them out. These are currently compostable, which is really good. Obviously I'm trying to reduce my plastic use where I can be a bit more eco-friendly, even though I am currently recycling secondhand shoes, which is good enough. Yeah, I like to do as much as I can. So these are from Poly Post Bags. The link should be down in the description. I don't get a cut of any of them sales from Poly Post Bags. This is just me sharing information before I put them in there. Because these are a softer shoe, softer toe, so they're not as sturdy as like thick leather. I do put some paper in the toes. So I've got some craft paper here. Again, recycled card paper. This is from Amazon. Again, links in the description. Just take a little bit, scrunch it up, put it in the toes, and that way it will hold its shape a bit more, look a bit more presentable. Don't have to use loads, but just that little bit just, again, helps keep the shape. There you go. This one's got the paper and this one hasn't, so it doesn't arrive all squashed and out of shape. And then place them in the first protective bag. That's them together and nicely protected. And then for the outer bag, I have a couple. Got a big size here, again from Poly Post Bags. This is made from 100% recycled material with biodegradable additive. So not compostable this one, but made from 100% recycled and it can be recycled as well. And then these smaller bags, again, compostable. So the buyer can get these and then put this literally in their food waste, which is really, really good. Nice and strong as well. Just because it's compostable doesn't mean it has to be weak. And then obviously depending on the shoe size, Depends on what bag they're going. These will fit in the medium size. And same again, put them in, peel, stick down, and that's them done. Grab a Sharpie and just write on the corner where it is. So I'll just do a tick and put SB. So I know what that is. When it comes to labeling up, there won't be any confusion. Keep all the packages together in the IKEA bag, ready to go back in the house to have their labels on. Oh no, oh no, we've got a second one. We've got the gobby one. I'm just doing me orders, dogs. I'm doing me orders. And we know Autumn's here. The radiator is on in the unit, only on low, but just during the night, this keeps it a nice temperature in here so nothing's getting damaged or damp or anything like that. Next we're going with a jacket, a nice leather jacket, into the jacket section, which I've been working hard on this week. Here we go, this is the one. Well, that was very kind to me. On the top there, so this one is LLD original. A nice vintage leather coat. Again, it's in this compostable packaging that's slightly broke, so I will get a fresh one, just so it looks a bit more presentable. Again, compostable, so I can put that in my food bin once I get back in the house, so I'll keep that in there. Here, I can show you properly now. Really nice sort of tan leather coat here. Nice bit of age to it. Not sure what the LLD actually stands for, but I found this in a charity shop and it was cheap. I think it was like six pound in a charity shop. Uh, listed this back in January. Is that right? Oh my God. I knew I had it for a while. I didn't know it's been listed since January. <laughs> so almost full year to sell, three quarters of a year or so, but it has turned into 43 99 plus postage. The reason I think this didn't sell during winter in January, obviously January is the middle of winter. So you should already have your coats and jackets. So it would have been too late. Now, mid-October, still mild weather, but people are starting to think about getting their coats and that for the seasons coming ahead. It's better to sell coats and jackets at the start rather than in the middle at the end of winter. Coats and jackets, same as the trainers really, but I've got a fresh one. Again, it's the exact same bag, compostable, nice and big. That'll keep it together. And then we're actually going to use the 100% recycled large green bag. So obviously just fold it up nicely. I tend to do face down, arm in, arm in. Fold it halfway or a third of the way. And again, and then meet in the middle like that. Facing the front, you can see the logo. 
just looks nice and presentable that way. It should fit in the bag nicely. <laughs> Come on! So that's an air like that, and then pull and stick down. Keep that together like so. Same again with the big bag. Swack it in, pull the strip, and stick it down. Make sure it is stuck down properly. Sharpie, right where it is. And in the bag it goes. Got a nice pair of ankle boots now. So we'll go back over here into the boot section, which is chock a block at the minute. But luckily, I've only listed these recently, so they're right at the top. These are nicely stuck down still, so I won't get them out of the bag. This is a pair of Levi Strauss men's dark brown leather brogue boots. From a charity shop, owe me £10, so I had to pay up for these. Normally at the charity shop I got these from, they charge no more than like £8 for a pair of boots, but 10 on these. But they have gone quickly. I listed these literally last week or the week before, and they've gone for £31.67, plus £2.99 postage. So obviously paying up for that, sending to 31 nice markup. Again, minimal effort, they're already bagged up. Literally all I have to do now, grab my bag, put them in, and off they go. Another pair of boots, Timberland boots this time. So same box, buried somewhere probably. Gotcha, a bit more buried than the last ones. Uh, bags open again so I can get these out. Just a nice pair of Timberland work boots. No metal toe cap on these. So again, just for simply fashion. These are UK size five, so women's size or very small men's. Overall good condition, few marks here and there, but nothing major at all. These owe me nine pounds from a boot sale, listed in April, so taking a long time. I don't think these are very in fashion for women at the moment. Comments below if I am wrong. I believe they're not as hot as they used to be, probably a few years ago. But they've gone for 22 pound 50 plus 2.99 postage. So taking a while to sell. They've sold not as strong as they used to. Might be more cautious when I do pick these up again, try and get them cheaper than nine pounds so ideally for no more than five six pounds picking them up if they're taking a while to sell and only sort of low 20s again easy to package easy to send out so i don't mind that ah these sold in my latest boot sale video if you've watched that one hopefully you have these are easy to find again these haven't been listed long and they're already in their dust bag is a pair of paul smith as you can see by the dust bag brown leather brogue shoes made in italy size 10 so really good size really good like design and make bit of wear to the bottoms here but that hasn't affected the price these have gone for 61 pound 59 really really strong price plus 2.99 postage i know there's going to be a couple of you screaming at the screen like sending shoes out in a bag all the time but my rule tends to be around 40 50 pound and onwards i do box them up so i will be boxing these up i won't just put them in a bag and off they go you know i've never had any complaints actually after about 50 quid i put them in the box protect them and be a bit more presentable where people have paid up a little bit more for consistency i think i will still bag them up just in case any rain gets through the box and into the shoes i will protect them with the compostable bags and it costs a few pence per bag so well worth it for peace of mind that's them done and then my box collection is down here currently and over there got plenty of boxes of all different sizes best places to get boxes home bargains bnm sainsbury's toy section tesco toy section anywhere like that really facebook marketplace for bigger boxes where people move houses all the time and then once word gets out that you're reselling online family and friends will soon start chucking all their boxes your way which is always handy uh, this is a nice size here just an amazon box we'll line it with a bit of craft paper to help stop moving around a bit just put that in there shoes in just fold that paper over bit of tape I use three inch tape, the difference being this. This is regular tape, this is my tape. There we go. Costs a little bit more, but I use less of it because I don't have to keep stripping and stripping and stripping. It just takes one or two compared to lots of different strips, especially when I send out bigger, heavier parcels. This is a lot, lot stronger and you use less of it. So just do that up. I did trial paper tape of this size, but it wasn't very strong and I couldn't stick it over each other. So if I'd done one strip and tried to do another strip over it, it wouldn't stick and it'd be a horrible mess and it ripped. So I did try paper tape, but when I'm making changes in other areas, it more makes up for it. So it's fine. There we go, that's that one all boxed up. Obviously not the prettiest looking thing. So I could then, because they're big enough, I could put a bag over the top if you really want to then bag that up so it looks more presentable that'll be fine like that as long as it gets there safely i've taken extra care with the insides then that's good enough for me sort of to do with boots but aren't actually boots and these were actually bought from a subscriber i think they chucked these in or they were like a pound or 50p each but these go inside like women's boots like longer boots and just holds their shape more that's literally all they are 
I believe they're made by Sensomatic Nico. Got two pairs, got another pair there. It's the same listing, times two. Uh, not gone for massive money, seven pounds plus 2.99 postage. But like I said, they're cheap from a boot sale, from a subscriber as well. Nice, easy bit of profit there. Because they're plastic, obviously, I don't want to just shove them in a bag because they could break. You know what the postal system's like. So I will box these up as well. So going back into the box section. This looks like a good one. Get all sorts of boxes. Box full of boxes. Yeah, we've got some dog treats this time. <laughs> Obviously no food actually in there. They were just tins so no loose food going about but but that should be a good fit there. And again recycling. So let's get more craft paper to help pad it out. Tape it up and that's another parcel done. A pair of trousers by Gantt which is right up here. In fact, I'm well overdue to picture my trousers. This box is again very empty. I've literally got a handful of trousers left. So I need to get back on that. This is a pair of Gant Rugger slash the Grandpa trouser. Sort of like a chino trouser type thing going on. Feels really well made, feel like nice and thick. It's a good size as well, 36 inch waist, which I believe is like a large. Found these in a charity shop. I believe it was like three or four pounds, not much at all and they've gone for 25 pounds on the dot, plus 2.99 postage, so 27.99 all in, nice and easy to post. Just gonna fold them up nicely, put them in our protective bag and then in a postal bag. Self-explanatory, fold them up nice, so they go as a small parcel. I do actually have some extra smaller bags, so they're not all the massive ones. These ones are just biodegradable, so not made from recycled content. Once I use these, I will try and get smaller compostable bags afterwards. That's a nice fit there. Peel, stick, probably going sideways. Film stick. All right, we'll come on to our first trickier item to package, Toshiba VHS DVD. So we're going to the electronics section now and we're looking for a Toshiba. Of course, it's gonna be this bottom one, isn't it? Yep, Toshiba, there we go. In fact, three, two, one. There we go. I wish it was that bloody easy. So we go, we've got a Toshiba VHS DVD recorder. I don't believe this one records that tape to DVD or DVD to tape. It's just literally a VHS player, DVD player, and you can record on each one as well, but not together, or you can't transfer. So not as much money in it, no remote control, literally just a unit, all good and working, I believe, unless I stated otherwise. But this one has gone for 39.99 plus postage. I haven't actually written down how much I paid for it and when I listed it. So I'm not sure what's happened there, but um, I can imagine this is from like a boot sale, five pounds, it's gone for 40. Nicely done, but now we have to package it. Big box, pad it out, jobs are good. Right, we'll go to my bigger boxes here. I think I found a good fit here. What was this one? This one, Play Monster. I think this was from Sainsbury's. So first of all, we'll use a thick tape. Obviously, do it up the bottom first so it doesn't fall out. So that's that done. But we're not just going to put paper in and shove the unit in. We're actually going to use a bit more cardboard. Most of this, like 90% of this cardboard was free. We don't mind using it up and we can replenish it without spending any money. So this is what I like to do, especially with this type of unit, like a VHS player. I'll get a good size box and break it up to one sheet. I'm literally going to put the unit down and wrap it in the cardboard. A bit like a sausage roll, but a VHS roll. Keeping the plug out because this little blighter will cause some serious damage. Tape. Hold that down. Then for the plug, I will get bare padding. This is from uh, parcels that I've ordered or returns, etc. Bit of foam, I'm just gonna wrap it around the plug just so that doesn't cause any damage at all. And again, bit more tape, wrap that around. Doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be secure. And then that can tuck in there. VHS box, more paper, pad that out. And then our main unit here should squeeze down there. Nicely done, then paper all the way around the outside. Extra layer on top, and then we're all done. That's done now, then we're just gonna get another layer of cardboard just to put on top as extra padding. Now we can seal it up, and it's good to go. And then maybe for something like this, I like to seal up the corners just so there's no chance of it opening up just to seal them corners up. So just go around with like a standing knife, just take off any label that might cause confusion. Just these barcodes, just scroll over them because we don't want anything to mess up at all. So it's good, padded out, we kept the plug separate and it's not moving around in the box. So that should get there safely. Next up we've got my arch nemesis, which is glass. And you may have noticed during the summer boot sale videos and charity shops, on my left arm, I have this here. 
don't know if you can see it properly yeah it's a scar it's not some weird veins or anything when i was 15 i think it's like 2006 messing about with mates my arm went through a plain glass window and i basically sliced open my arm perfectly and the muscle underneath and then 20 stitches on the inside 40 on the outside later i'm now left with this scar so yeah if you see that that is why <laughs> that has happened so we'll put that away now so i thought i'd share that story quickly it's like in the vintagey fragile section really nice sort of marble effect 1930s 1940s around that sort of area like lampshade glass with the tassels all the tassels are in place really really nice item only owes me two pound two whole pounds from a charity shop listed in september and it has gone for 24 pound plus postage of 4.99 they paid what's that 29 pound all in not everyone's going to handle glass i very rarely touch glass but when it's this nice and that cheap i couldn't say no for now we've got to package it and how i will do glass is double box double box is your friend in this scenario basically means double box we're gonna need two boxes first one is literally just gonna contain it and keep it still which i hope this one fits a bit of a snug fit that so we'll reject that box yeah, this one's a bit better but i've got to bear in mind i'll be putting a box in this box so i've got to try and find a bigger box than this box so many boxes and this should fit in nicely as it is but with the gap space i'm nowhere near sending that out as it is that's why i'm going to use a second box because that's just asking to be damaged with these tassels I might actually put it in one of my bags just to keep it all together again so this is in no way protecting the glass but this is just to keep them tassels together if it fits easy does it there we go it did fit i feel a lot better about that now i didn't want them dangling around in the box to be honest so that's helped out massively that that fits and then we're going to pad it out again in here Then do that box up. Oh, run out. Reload. So that is technically boxed up, but I say with bigger, heavier, more fragile parcels, if you're not confident enough to basically chuck it on the floor, kick it around a bit, then do not send it out. I'm not confident enough to do it in this condition. So I'm going to grab my second box. Now I, want, I need more of a square one. Use as much void fill as you've got. And we're gonna pad out all the corners. I have so many of these plastic bags and that from charity shops and that that they give me that I'm gonna use these up as well. Just whatever can help pad out and protect your item is well worth using. And it's getting that second chance instead of just being chucked in the bin or recycled straight away. Another bit of cardboard on the top, then we'll tape it up and that should be good to go. And now that is all done, double boxed. I feel a lot more confident, in fact. Yeah, there we go. I feel confident to send that out now. That'll get there in one piece. Um, if it doesn't, I'll let you know. And then I've saved the worst or the hardest till last. Five set Le Creuset. Holy Jesus. Oh, heavy and fragile great so i got this from kevin actually on my midweek book sale he's a subscriber does me deals every now and then i think it was, it was 30 pound i paid for this lot here um, i thought it was a good deal at the time there was condition issues this condition being that there's quite a bit of wear to the bottoms and then the handles aren't the original wooden ones they're like plastic so that affected the price more than i thought actually i did make a profit i've sold them for 75 pounds plus 8.99 postage nine pound postage not too bad but this is gonna be a big hassle to send out i now have to make sure that these don't cling together because even though they're cast iron cast iron is brittle and can break i found out from experience so this is going to require a big box and a number of double boxings this is a big job so i need more space to work with so let's get my box first i've got the ideal box actually christmas present for one of the children so that should be our main box there so i'll put that actually down here so as I'm wrapping each individual thing, I can then place it in this big box, which has already got a lot of packaging in it. Plan, I've got my big box, and then I'm going to do the double box, but it's going to be multiple boxes. Because each one, I need ideally to be protected. So that is now done. Instead of each individual item being each individual box, I actually found a good one. So that's got three of them in. And obviously padding in between each one because they're still going to clunk together so 
that's nicely padded out there so they're not going anywhere two of the smaller ones again padded out not moving in there at all this has all the lids in again padded out so whoop, get, uh, smaller boxes put them in this big one here put that one in there that one there oh i'll tell you what yeah i'll show you it's worth showing you that fits nicely and enough space to do padding obviously if it was tight like this that's no good with a bit of space for padding which we can all the way around uh, all the way around there it's looking good to me i'm absolutely shattered i could just ask one thing from you hit that like button and also subscribe if you're not already helps me and the channel out. If you learned something here today, I hope it helps you out. Don't be afraid to pick up the more fragile items. Just follow this rule, get free boxes, pad, pad, pad. That's all you need to do. You should be good. It should get there safely. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>